Hey, Sanchez, Anthony and Rose, we're doing more West Coast Swing today. We get a lot of requests for West Coast Swing, so we like we're listening. So we're giving you guys hopefully what you want. <laughs> now, this is a pattern that we dance a lot. We really like this one. That's why we dance a lot. It's not overly complicated. Looks really cool. You'll really love it, so stick around. We don't need All right, guys, West Coast Swing, that's what we're doing today. Now, before we get into that, we have a question for you guys. We want you guys to comment down below. We are planning our summer tour. Now, last year we toured a couple spots. We haven't been able to do that for a while because our, our kids are in school, but summer is coming. So we're planning right now, we're planning our tour. Where should we go? Where should we dance? We would love to meet everybody, do some workshops, go out dancing. So where Fun. is that place? Now, if you guys are new to the channel, you'll notice a little button down here and it says, subscribe and if you hammer on that button then you become an ex-dancer and then you'll know when all the awesome stuff happens on the channel all right so we're going to demonstrate it and then we're going to break it down all right guys so we're going to lead her forward for one two three four five six and triple step anchor step we'll show you that one more time so we have this little slingshot where we go one two three four a little hip bump and triple step anchor step all right, guys, we're gonna break this down piece by piece. First, we have to attack the slingshot, okay? So there's a few different philosophies Warning. here. We're just gonna teach the way that we do it, okay? So we're gonna lead her forward for one as I begin to turn and get out of the slot, and then I'm gonna base, basically step to the side. So I'm gonna be in this position out of the slot. So you'll notice I've given her this path. I have to get the heck out of her way. Like, I mean, I've gotta give her this space, okay? So. If I'm still standing in a way, she's just gonna run into me. It's not gonna be very pretty. So we're gonna lead her for one. We're gonna give her a little bit of prep for two as I start to separate the hands. Count three is a tricky one, okay? Because count three, I need to inhibit her movement to where I intentionally, I intentionally place her in split weight. Split weight means that she is on both of her feet. I'm not letting her commit to her right foot on count three. So what I've gotta do is I've gotta take my right hand and I've got to pull it back a little bit to not allow her to get fully over top of that step. So we're gonna go one, two, and then on count three, I'm starting to take this hand and withholding her movement just a little bit. I'm actually pulling her a little bit to actually slow her down so that she can extend out for count four. Her steps are just gonna be one, two, three. Three is a split weight. On count four, then she's placing her center over top of it, or actually even a little bit past it. Yeah. So we're gonna go one, two, I'm slowing her down for three by pulling that hand, and then I'm letting her extend out for count four. Now count five, six. Now you can do this with or without this part. We like this, right? So we're just actually, we're extended away from each other and we're actually coming in a little bit and about again. Now this is, this is just a lot of booty, okay? <laughs> Here's one, th one mistake that people will make is they'll start doing that, they get to here, and they start bouncing back and forth going from one foot to the next, and it just totally loses any degree of cool, all right? <laughs> just looks bizarre and weird, okay? So we wanna have one, two, hold her back for three, and then we let her sink into that for four, so there's still more motion to go. From that point, now notice my weight is primarily on my right foot, Rose's weight is primarily on her right foot. We're gonna keep our weight mostly on that foot and we're actually just compressing a little bit back and forth, okay? So this happens mostly from the center. We're not doing a lot with our body. It's mostly, there's a little bit of weight. So you get a little bit of compression, right? So you get a little bit of compress and then there's a little bit of leverage. So you have this where we're leaning away from each other so she's actually, if I let go of her, she would fall. I'm not gonna do that because I have to go home with her tonight, but we're here and then we're actually gonna compress just a little bit. So you're feeling that pressure starting to build in that. I'm inhibiting that so there's very little movement here, okay? So it is just very minimal movement. And we're gonna end that with our weight again away from each other. Now I've gotta lead her for a syncopated rhythm after this. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six. And then it's gonna be an and triple step for her. So it's important, again, it's not just a triple step, which is what she would normally, she's gonna do and triple step, okay? But before we get into that, I wanna talk a little bit about this hand connection, okay? So that when we get into here, so again, we have our, my hand, I've got pistol grip, this is like Spider-Man, I've got that on both sides, right? I'm getting out of her way for one, two. I've separated my hands apart a little bit. I'm withholding her movement a little bit and letting her expand, all right? 
Now I can do that with just my right hand. I want you guys to understand where the connection is. If I led that with just my right hand, I don't need my left hand at all. A lot of people make a mistake of doing a lot with their left hand, but I could totally lead this from here with hold it because most of everything is happening just from that side. And that actually gives that a little bit of cool look and we can, I know, I can how low that. can you go? <laughs> right? Yeah, get crazy. So, but most of the leverage is happening from my right, okay? Which is connected to her left hand. So most of your leverage compression is happening here, not over here. All right, now from this point, I'm gonna place her on that foot four and, and then she does her triple step. So if you watch her footwork, I'm going and, and this left hand begins to turn over her head and I'm gonna take my right hand now and let go of it and basically catch her arm underneath, okay? I need to show you all this close up. All right, so I have my hands outside of hers and I'm gonna keep my hands on the outside of hers. Now on count three, you'll notice that I'm starting to pull. So it's kind of like you've got a little bit of pressure on that side, that's count three. So I'm pulling that back to keep her from getting too far away from me on count three. Then I'm gonna let her release that and extend her out on count four. But if you watch this hand, I have connection here. So it's against her fingers on count four, but then when, she, when I bring her in, it's gonna press up against basically the palm of her hand. So you kind of have this little tick, 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 tick. And I'm not gonna move that much, but that's basically the idea. So we get into that position, we bring her in, it's pressing against the backs of my fingers, and then away again. It's really the movement of your hips that are making that happen. Mm -hmm. It's just a little bit of weight, more weight and less weight going back and forth through there. All right, so we're leading her forward for one, two, inhibiting her movement for three, allowing her to stretch for four, and a little hip bump for five, six. Now from here, her motion needs to go in that direction, and as she's coming in, I'm beginning to put my hand into that spot. She's continuing to move. Now I'm keeping this hand for now, my left hand, but I'm taking that right hand over top, and it immediately goes to her back to send her back through. I do need to show you guys that close up. All right guys, so we're in this stretch position and the weight is primarily resting in my right hand. Now I need to send that right hand in that direction to send her back just like we did before. But as we do, I'm gonna to begin to raise this hand, all right? So we're in this position, I'm pulling her back with my right hand, but lifting that left hand. Now, once she starts to turn, I'm gonna be bringing this hand around her head as I let go of that right hand and go to her arm. So if you'll notice, my hand has gone underneath her arm. Now, I'm still gonna turn her just a little bit more with this hand, but primarily she's ducking under, I get my elbow up, and then I go to her back to send her through, okay? So that hand transition, it needs to be really, really fluid. So the hand comes up, I'm going to the arm, and as my hand is going to her arm, then I bring, when I bring that hand down, I'm rotating and it should find the back. So let's watch just the hand position. All right, so the hand is coming up. I'm going to her arm. Now that I've got her arm, I'm gonna be bringing the hand over top. As soon as my elbow clears over top, then I'm gonna be rolling her out as I bring that hand down, going to her back to finish that turn. All right, so we gotta talk about the footwork here. A lot of times footwork is not that important. You just go where you go and do what you do. This is one of those times when that's not the case, she does need an and a triple step. That's four weight changes, okay? The weight changes are actually important. She can't do too many or too less or whatever, or she's just gonna end up on the wrong foot. So we're extended out, that's five, six. Now she's gonna have an and triple step. So we're placing her on that foot for and triple step step and she needs to be back where she came from on that end of that okay with facing back to me so we have extended out we do our little hip bump and now she does an and triple step okay that's pretty fast okay <laughs> it's gonna happen pretty fast so the yeah. lead has got to be really on that timing wise so the thing that we suggest when you guys are doing this is to really know what each step is and where you need to be and practice it like super slow until you work yourself up to speed. We don't want anybody getting hurt, okay? So let's put this all together. All right, so all together, we're getting out of her way for one, two, we're inhibiting her movements for three to allow her to get split weight. We expand out for four, all hips for five, six. We're weighted away from each other, waist primarily in that right hand. Now we're gonna lead her for that and triple step, bringing the hand up for and trip. I step on six and then we just anchor in place. Okay, so all together, let's count this out. It is one, two, three, four, five, six, and triple step, anchor step. Okay, guys, 
Where should we be going this summer? Okay, so Coming where are you that. located? Like, we're not even opposed to going out of the country if there's a big <laughs> enough crowd. Like, we want to go where the crowds are, where people, where we can meet as many people. Where do you go dancing? What is your favorite place? Where should we go? Comment down below because over the course of the next couple weeks, we're going to be choosing our travel schedule for the summer and we want to meet you guys. So leave that down below. Now, thank you guys so much for watching. We're going to demonstrate this music a couple times and then we'll see you guys next time. We don't All right, guys, we're going to break down this cool. <laughs> this is a brief intermission. <laughs> right, what are we talking about? I don't know. Oh. Dancing. <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> and we're back. It's been in Texas too mom. long. <laughs> Bye, no. Um. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Don't take my one thing I have going for me. <laughs>